Using the Print Setup dialog box, let's go up to the Application menu, the big blue R, hit the down arrow. In the down arrow, we're going to go down to Print. And we're going to choose Print. And in the Print, the first thing we always do is, is check which plotter or printer we're going to. That affects everything in the dialog box. So you must choose this first. All right. The second thing, verify this, these things down here, like the stats, it's ready, the name of the printer, where's that, they'll usually have the room, any comments, some companies will put, you know, it's across from Charlie's office or something like that. Um, then, uh, we can come down here and you can actually print this to a file, but we want to print to a particular printer. So this is for when you're printing to a file, which is not used a whole lot, but uh, let's go down to our print range and our print range we've covered before which is the current window uh, so I can preview that for example and the current uh, the current window is uh, the whole sheet in which we're on so I'm gonna close that and I'm gonna cancel that and uh, or I can actually come up here and do a print And when I choose visible portion of the current window, it's going to show me what's ever on my screen right now, just these two elevations, not the title block. When I do selected sheets, I can pick this, I can select, I can pick multiple sheets uh, if I do it this way. So I'll do current window for right now. And, uh, and so uh, we want to do, uh, let's go to... to, to, to um, let's go to setup and in the setup we can set up the print setup now we choose uh, the the setup the print setup however we want we can define a setup you can define the paper size which tray it's coming from if we want our sheet to be centered which we usually do or we can offset it. This is usually when we staple the left edge to have a binder side, like a book has a binding. We're going to shift everything to the right so everything can be read on the left edge. We can come down here to zoom to uh, fit the page, which I don't like because it will not be scaled one to one. When I go to zoom, I want it to be a hundred percent. So this is your choice nearly all the time. We're going to go up and choose uh, landscape or portrait accordingly. In my case I have a D size sheet so I'm going to go with landscape. And this is for hidden line removal. This is when we're looking at in 3D and how does it take the hidden lines out. This is going to be a plot file. No matter which one of these we choose it's a plot file in CAD actually in in Revit. It's how it processes it. A vector processing is going to be a very fast very small file, uh, so it takes it takes a, a much quicker time, but it doesn't have as good a quality. If you want higher quality, this will create a much larger file and do a better quality analysis of the removal of the lines in 3D, and it'll take longer to do it. It'll, so it'll be a bigger file and longer to do it. If we have a raster quality uh, in here, in other words, if we put a picture in here, we can choose the quality of that picture. If we, can, if we want colors, do we want to print in color or do you want to pr print in grayscale or in black and white? So black lines is black and white, grayscale is 255 shades of gray, color, color. Down in the options we can view our links to our other like CAD files in blue. Uh, we can hide the reference or work planes. We can hide unreferenced view tags, so like our left and right dependent views. Uh, we can hide those uh, uh, region edges, mass, quidence, and lines. We could hide the scope box, hide the, the etc. I like everything the way it's set up here. These are usually what you want to do. So at this point, you can save this uh, particular print setup. So if you have, say, a, a particular printer and you have it all set up to a particular size, you can set that up by name, etc. And then you can hit OK, and then 
everything is set up for the printer and you're ready to print back here in the print dialog box when you say okay.